So besides the horrendous battery life, one of the things was there wasn't much of a prime lens selection, especially if you want a fast lens within the APS-C lineup, AKA for my Nikon Z30. But in that video, everyone was like, hey, you should check out the build trucks. I'm like, you mean this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> the lens is right here. So uh, did a little uh, YouTube research and a lot of these videos, they're actually paid sponsored or free product so other people can review it. But I myself paid out of my own pocket for this $500 USD lens. As you can see right here, this is the AF 13 mil, which is equivalent to around 20-ish mils at 1.4 for the Z mount. And if you want to use this for your full frame Z9, Z6, Z7 Mark II, you're gonna have to shoot in crop sensor mode, unfortunately. So there's always been a little gripe with these Chinese branded lenses, third party, but for the most part, your camera body is made in Thailand and most lenses, you know, even this one, this is the 35 1.8, is also made in China. So third party, Viltrox, and I'm gonna give you all my honest opinion of this lens. And uh, I decided to pick up this lens because I wanted to upgrade my kit lens. And apparently this should be the best lens that you should get for your APS-C Nikon camera. Works for the ZF-X as well as the Z50. And what I'm using it on right now, I'm gonna show y'all, is the Z30. All right here, let's read some spec, guys. Z-mount lens, it has 14 elements, focal length of 13 millimeters, viewing angle of a 94.06 degrees, so it is much of a wider angle lens, which I would pretty much suspect that it is good for vlogging, because it gets everything in the background, and good for landscapes. Portraits, you might be wary of vignetting as well as a little bit of distortion. That's something you'll be aware of with any wide angle lens. Has uh, aperture f1.4 to f16. You're looking at um, shooting distance of 0.22 meters. It has ultra light internal focusing, stepping meter, motor focus, manual focus, auto focus. And you're looking at a diameter of 74 millimeters by 92 weighs around 500 grams and a thread size of 67. So I also picked up a really cheap KNF uh, ND filter as well, but here's the lens itself. Pretty girthy, lengthy for 1.4. It has a ring for you can actually manually control the aperture, but I just put it on auto and play with the, the aperture on my Z30. So right now, Y'all are going to see all, the, all my mess on the side here, but uh, I'm going to pop this bad boy onto my Z30 and you can see the before and after. And one of the things that I always am aware of when you buy third party lenses is the autofocus because no, you're not going to get as good autofocus compared to native lenses. Nikon with a Nikon lens, this is a Viltrox. So uh, we'll see how this looks. I'll give it a little... And uh, let's see how this looks before and after. So, uh, damn. You see how much of a difference that makes? I'm like, let me make sure my room's a little cleaner, my office is a little cleaner. Anyways, now I have the Viltrux 1.4 Z mount lens on my Nikon Z30. And before, I was shooting at um, 3.5 because that's pretty much the lowest aperture that I could go on this here little pancake style kit lens. But now, because of the fact that I have this really fast, that's my tummy, 1.4 lens, this is what it looks like wide angle. And I was pretty much the exact same distance that I was. The setup is the exact same, except much more of a wider wide angle lens. Look at that. So 
right off the bat, you notice there is a little bit of like a fish eye, a little, it's just a little different. And that's what you get with a different focal lengths and different lenses. They can completely change the way that your face looks. But for the most part, if you are in the center, you shouldn't notice that much of a difference. So straight off the bat, look at that. Beautiful 1.4 looking aperture, right? That that focus blur, really nice to have that on a Nikon Z30. And you, here's the little autofocus test, right? It's focusing on my eye right now. And then there, really smooth. There is a slight, just a slight hunt, right? A little pulse. But for a third party lens, not that bad. But of course, if I were to use the Nikon glass for this, a lot smoother. And I did not change any of the settings. But what I did notice using this lens is during the daytime, it is fine. But when there is a little bit of a low light, these Z30s already struggle with um, low light autofocus. So with a third party, it does struggle a little bit more. So that's something to be wary of. But I'm gonna take this out and about and do a little vlog test so y'all can see what that actually looks like. But um, I'll actually have at the end of this video a uh, before studio and after studio with just the simple kit lens upgrade. So as you can see, this is um, 1.4, 100 ISO, that's why I have a lovely ND filter. Ibis did not have, but here I am now, out of the public, as a fellow introvert checking in, as you can see, I'm holding the camera roughly a foot and a half away from my face, and even with the ND filter, I eye tracking looks fine to me, don't see any issues. I did get a really cheap um, ND filter, 67 thread from KNF, I'll link that in the description below, but with these really cheap ND filters, there is a chance for um, a cross. You know, if you go to max, I'll show y'all. But I think that is okay. That guys was my little vlog test on my uh, Viltrox 13mm 1.4 prime lens. You're looking at uh, 20 millimeters specifically. And honestly, for this amount, I can see why it is the notoriously known for, if you had to upgrade your kit lens, you would get this one. Not sponsored, they do not pay me. I would definitely, considering the budget, you're looking at paying double, even triple the price for full frame Nikon glass on your Z APS-C sensor. You might as well go for this. It makes a lot more sense. Be aware of a little bit of focus breathing, a little bit of vignetting. I could already see it in the terms of the test photos that I've taken so far, but 
this lens has been around for quite some time. It is really popular with the Fuji film lineup. And only now they're starting to have Z mount lenses from Build Trucks. So that was my overall review on it. If you want to get this lens, link in the description below. You're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all serve nothing. But you can always create something. Cheers, guys.